Hello. Hi, Rajneet. Hi, Mr. Woods. Hey, how are you? Sorry it's taking me so long. I'm doing good. How about yourself? What was that? I said, sorry it took me so long to call. Oh, no, no worries. So I'm calling you on Skype. Uh, I hope you can hear me okay. I actually wanted to record our call so that I can train some of the other club members how to help people with their resumes. Do you mind? Oh, okay, that's fine. No, that's fine. Okay, cool. So let me pull up your resume here. Um, and... So I looked at what you sent back to me and... Uh-huh. Like, I couldn't quite tell, like, I, I, I couldn't quite tell some of your answers. So, um, you tell me, first of all, you said in your email, you had a few you were unable to answer, like, how much cash, cash you dealt with. Uh, you, mm -hmm. I actually agree with, like, trying to edit to fit an accounting position. Um, that's uh -huh. great. That, that's actually what I was thinking of already. Um, mm hmm but I was just trying to estimate, um, just trying to estimate like ballpark numbers. So, um, so let, let me look through what you sent me here. So 30 transactions per day, that's great. Um, so maintaining a cash drawer. Okay, so the cash drawer, do you like, all I really need is a range. So like, was it well the thing is like uh, in our cash drawer you weren't allowed to have like more than ten thousand dollars in it but you that would only be like um so basically like in our cash drawer you never had cash on hand unless the member gave you like the customer gave you cash and it wasn't going in the cash machine so you would keep it in your drawer so you never had you never really had cash on hand it would all be dispensed in the machine that had like two hundred thousand dollars in it Got it. So the, the money, like as soon as the money came into the drawer, like it would be taken out again, basically? Yeah, like you would have to put it back into a machine that spits out the cash. So uh, basically, like, yeah, so when the customer came and they said, oh, I want uh, $200 out of my checking account, I would type in $200 and then the machine would spit out $200 exactly like the way they wanted it. That's cool. So like in an average day, how many customers asked you for cash? Um, I would say almost like all of them. So all like 30 members that I got. All 30 members that, because I think you said uh, 30 transactions and. Yeah. Oh no, like there would be like 20, uh, there would be like 20 customers. Yeah. Got it. So that I would get in a day. Every one of yeah, those customers like most, wanted cash. Yeah. Most likely like they would have a check and they would deposit and then they would most likely like always want cash back. Okay. So. Like on average, did they want a hundred dollars in cash back? Twenty, two hundred? Like how much was it normally? Yeah, it would be like um, from anywhere from like uh, fifty dollars to like uh, maybe like five thousand dollars. Like it would all just really depend. Sometimes people would never had uh, cash in their um, account. They would. Have, I mean, they never had money in their account. They would come in with checks and cash it and take it, and then they would just deposit the change. Okay. So what if we said maintained a cash drawer, um, including taking out, taking in and giving out cash, uh, uh -huh. to, uh, cash ranging from $50 to 5000 for approximately 20 customers per day? So maintaining a cash drawer. I can actually go ahead and write it up after we get off the phone and send it back to you. Um, oh, okay, yeah, that would be great. But I was going to say, basically, maintaining a trash cash drawer, including taking in and giving out anywhere between fifty and five thousand dollars to a roughly twenty customers per day. Period. Yeah. Does that sound okay? That sounds. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay, cool. So that was fine. Now, um, okay, so for the tutor job at uh, Taft College, yeah, 
how many students did you tutor, more or less? Uh, there was maybe, like, five per day. Okay. There wasn't, like, too many, yeah. Uh... That's fine. So, five per day, and this is January, February, March, so three months. Did you work every day as a tutor or just a couple days a week? It would be, like, um, three days a week. Okay, so three days a week times three months is about 30 to 35 days. Mm-hmm. Um, does that sound about right? What do you mean by three months? So, like, on your resume here, it says January 2019 to March 2019. So, that's... Oh, no, no, no. It was, that's supposed to say May. Oh, May, okay. Because I... So and it's supposed to be, I worked there for a year, so it's from, actually, it was, yeah, it was from May 2018 to May 2019. For the tutor job? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it, it's actually, your your resume actually says January 2019 to March 2019, so you want me to change it? No, I don't know why it says that. That's okay, May 2018 to May 2019? Yeah. Okay, cool, so... That's a whole year worth of three times per week. So mm-hmm. if you talk to about, if you tutored five students a day, three times a week, that's 15 students per week times 50 weeks is what, 500, that's 750 students. Yeah, but I wouldn't say like, like, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it was days that like nobody would come in because it was like a dead week out of uh, um, uh, Rajni, can, can you hang on one second? I have a phone. I have a friend that I've been playing phone tag with for days. I gotta answer the phone quick. Hang on one second. Okay, that's fine. Hey, cupcake. I'm actually on the phone with one of my students, but I saw that you were calling, so I wanted to answer. Can I call you back in like ten minutes, or are you gonna be asleep? Okay, I'll call you back. Okay, bye. Rajni. Yeah, sorry, I was just talking to my friend. I told her I'd call her back. Um, okay, so you were saying, sorry, say again. Oh, I was saying, like, sometimes there would be, like, um, dead weeks at the college. So yeah. I wouldn't say, like, 750. Like, I think that's over-exaggerating. Like, how about, the over, people how that about I over 500? No. Like, I would say total... Like, I don't even think the five days a week was an accurate answer, so I would take that back. And I would say the whole time that I was there, I probably helped 50 students in the whole year, to be honest, because I didn't work too many hours. So sometimes I would help people, like, um, like I would be, uh, I would go in the lab because I had a break in between my classes, and my house was, like, an hour away from top college. So uh-huh. I would um, uh, stay in the library and do my work in the lab. And so I would help students even when I wasn't working because they recognized me as a tutor. Mm-hmm. But no, I would say maybe like 50, I would say maybe 50 like all together. Okay. In the year. That works. Like more, probably more, but I would cap it like around 50. That, that works. We can, we can stick with that number. So... GTR Logistics, um, bills of lading, uh, 10,000 in invoices per day, that's fine. And then the volunteer stuff is fine. Yeah, I think that's actually all the questions I had. Like, otherwise, um, the only other thing I, I was, I suggested, like, that format that you had your resume in, in the PDF document, where it's like, multiple beginnings. Yeah. I think that looks really Have that one? I think that looks really good, but I don't know how to do it in <laughs> in Word. So, oh, yeah, same here. So that's why I just stuck with the regular, like, that's why I stuck with the Word format. But I think I can do it. I think I can just edit it on PDF and then save it as a Word document. Okay. Um, well, I'll, I'm going to, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the edits that we just talked about on the phone, and I'll send it back to you, like, Maybe tomorrow. I don't know if I can get to it tonight. Um, and then you take what I sent you. Okay, that's fine. You take what I sent you and uh-huh. in that pretty form uh-huh. from PDF and send it back to me again. Uh-huh. 
All right. I appreciate all the help. No, no problem at all. And as soon as, as soon as, actually, uh, yeah, as soon as you send me back, I can, I can actually send people the version that I send to you. But I think that other format looks mm -hmm. even nicer. So, as soon as you form send me the other okay. format, I can immediately forward it to some people, and I can tell you about ten different places uh -huh. why. Okay, and um, I was wondering, so like uh, mostly it's like with the job fair that people are able to get the um, jobs, like for example, like Brown Armstrong or something like that. Uh -huh. But is it? It's like, do you have like a connection there? Like, if I wanted to get a job, like um, there or something, as uh, as an accounting intern or something? Yes, like I know people at at uh, Barbara Trooper King better than I know Brown Armstrong, but. I, I get contacts at all of them. The issue with getting a job at one of the accounting firms is like their mm -hmm. super intern program is just ending. So it may take a little while until they have like a new spot for you. But you can, I can definitely refer you to the accounting okay. in town. You just might have to, you might want to get another job in the meantime until they're ready to take you. But I'm sure I can put you in touch with them. All right, thank you so much. You're welcome. Good. No problem. I'm I'm happy to help. Right. That's, that's what I do. So I'll send you my I'll send you the edits that we just talked about, uh, probably tomorrow, and then we'll we'll mm -hmm. get there. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. No problem. Have a good night. All right. You too. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay. Now for the polishing cleanup edits to Rajneet's resume. This time, before I forget, I'm going to save it first as Rajneet Dale resume final. So I don't save over my notes from before and forget any in order. So this one is a little bit like visually complicated, uh, but it's not as hard as it looks. So First of all, we need to ch turn off track changes. That'll make it easier to edit everything. And we'll just, in this case, I think we'll just start from the top and work our way down. So, Johnson Road needs a period after it. We're going to actually highlight this whole thing and get rid of all these extra spaces. That drives me nuts. Sometimes, sometimes it works. Some people like it. I actually like to. I like to create my own spaces rather than having the machine like generate them for me. Um, so here we go. That's easier. Now let's move the rest of Rajneet's contact information up there. We'll put a space after summary. And that all looks okay. So now let's get rid of the edits that we made. We could actually either just delete them or we can right click and put set deletion, which looks recorded already from the track changes. Uh, let's put set this change. Let's set this change. And oops, there's a little tiny change here. And you can see wherever there's a line, that means that something was edited and needs to be like accepted. So if you right click, you can usually accept it, but for some reason it's not accepting here. So the other way to get rid of that little line is going up to review and go to next and click accept and accept and that gets rid of that line. Cool. Now let's go down here. I think Yep, we can accept. Uh, not quite. Uh, we actually need to go back to, this is going to be more complicated than I thought, unfortunately. So we need to go back to the other version of Rajneet's resume that we marked up. I really like this format here, um, but like the visual format I really like, but information contained in the other one I like better. So I actually told her to keep her education section she has here. And let's do a CC. 
key to the expected graduation date and reverse the order and then move the education section up to fit. Okay, yeah. So we're going to put that under award. awards. 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 So actually, we only need Frontier High School, Taft. This may actually already be in the old resume. Taft College. Okay, so let's get rid of this stuff that's going to be noted elsewhere. Um, we're going to copy this font and put it here and call this. Now, this can actually be rejected as a solution because we still want that actually. Let's make this all part of the same thing. And let's make that not bold. And now we need to add the other. Uh, dum, 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 dum. CSTV. Put that here, but we need to change this to Bachelor. Bakersfield. And let's actually change Taft to lowercase. That'll be the same as the formatting for the accrued section. And this is going to be, I believe, Rasmus is going to graduate in 2020. Did she tell us? No, I don't think she. We got that in the conversation. We'll just assume 2020 for now. It might be different. Um, and then let's put Frontier High School in here. Seventeen. Actually, let's do the formatting right here, <clears throat> and then let's use let's just copy and paste this so we have the same formatting here, and we'll put high school. California. And we'll put December 2017. Usually, I suggest that people just leave out their high school education. However, Rajneet graduated early, and it's kind of a distinction. So in this case, I would suggest that you keep it. So now we need to accept this change. There we go. Oh, no. We actually a change, get another space in there, and we may have to do some crunching once we're done here. Let's see, let's go back here, Dad, Taft, okay. Um, experience, first of all, we need to make this the same size as the other section, so that 
That is going to be a trebuchet. How do we get trebuchet? That's awesome. And Calibri all in the same thing. Let's make this all Calibri. Now, that's 10, so I think this 10 as well. That all looks the same. Uh, we'll accept this change. Now, we got to clean up all these bullet points. Prepared. Past tense. Process. D. Past tense. Did past tense. Wait. Approximately thirty banking transactions. And then delete all that. Daily. Now we can get rid of that comment. Now manage financial oops. Manage financial tracks and the transactions. We're going to combine this with the preceding bullet points. So, prepared, processed. You know, we're just going to delete. Kind of covered by preparing and processing. We don't have to mention databases in this case. So now our advanced procedures. We're actually going to delete that. And we're going to say maintained. Cash drawer, drawer, including taking in and giving out cash, ranging in value from fifty to five hundred five thousand dollars per customer. And now let's get rid of this funky spacing. Now it all fits on one line. And we can get rid of the comment. Delete. Now, engage customers, 20 customers per day. Um, so now let's keep what she had. Engaged, I like this phrasing, engaged customers in conversations, listening to them and proactively helping to meet their financial Approximately 20 customers daily in conversations, financial needs. We can get rid of all the rest of this. And I think that's the right side. Now, we need a space. We're running out of space. Let's see here. Save to make sure we got everything. Uh, put a space here. We're probably going to have to kick that space away later. Cast College Tutor. So let's make this the same font. Tutor, Bakersfield, California. Actually, let's have that cast in there. She might have been doing it remotely in Bakersfield, but it looks it looks funny to say Bakersfield when it says Cast College. So get rid of that. Get rid of the extra space here. We're going to reduce all this to two bullet points. Some of the details and combine the rest in two bullet points. Okay, one number of students. So first we're going to say tutored, delivered, tutoring, to up to 
five students daily for a total of roughly 50 students over the course of my time as a tutor. Move this down for a second. Let's make this the correct font. And we need to get rid of a couple of words from this big font. Oh, let's get rid of this. Still don't fit on one page. Deliver tooting to circa five students daily. Now it fits on one line. That's good. Uh, Topics included English essay instruction motivation. Let's take out instructional techniques. Uh, meeting schedules and timelines. Make timelines one sentence or one word. Um, Move this up here. Move this back here and put essay, essay organization. Personal skills up here, and the ability to meet schedules and timelines. Now, let's get rid of all this, and we're gonna have to scrunch some stuff here after we're done with all of what we're doing in order to fit everything on one page, but we'll deal with that later. First of all, Smaller, lowercase i, interpersonal skills. Such as. Okay, let's leave that for now. Let's see if we can get rid of a line for listening and profile. Proactively. Lines are very precious in resumes that have less than 10 years of experience. If you've got more than 10 years of experience, there are other resume formats you can use that are greater than one page. But general rule of thumb, if you've got less than 10 years of experience, get your resume to fit on one page. So still got to get GTR logistics to fit now. So let's accept this insertion. And now let's make it. not add a job title. So we're going to put administrative assistant. That's actually might not be the right title, but it pretty much describes what she did. So that'll work for now. We're going to reduce everything to one bullet point. Oops, 
received. And this is format is the same as this. Bill of ladings. Here's the living paperwork. Check for completeness. Accessorial charges. For completeness, created invoices with appropriate accessorial charges and manage receipts of payment for approximately uh, circa. We need to say the price circa ten thousand dollars in goods daily. Now we can get rid of everything down here. This comment and we're getting close. Now we're not as close as we'd like to be because we actually we're gonna need to save some space here. So let's actually put all of her contact information on one line. Now let's make the spaces between lines smaller. Actually, let's get rid of the lines entirely. Let's make these 10 as well. And let's put underlines under them so things look cool. And let's actually use bullet points here. Line. That saves a little bit of space too. make this the same format as that. Make this bold again. Make it 10 point font. Make this 10 point font. And underline it. Make this 4 point font. This, oops, use that format to make that look nice. Actually, make these bold and
matte painter and make this not bold the metallic. That yeah, looks a little nicer. Now, use that four point font, but why in the world is that times when everything else is Calibri? No idea. Okay. Make that Calibri. I don't know why it's Optima. Okay, now everything is Calibri. We've got a volunteer section and a awards section, I believe, that we need to transfer over from the other. Skills, awards, languages. And that's what I thought. That was what I was afraid of. We need to move the Dale brothers. That's actually Rajneet's family business, and that's the only thing that actually gives her, at age 20 or so, five years of experience, she can move me from her family's business since she was 15 years old. So, we got to fit that on here somehow, too. So, and we're going to have to get rid of some stuff in the summer. Broad knowledge of concepts and strategies to yield best possible financial outcomes. Adapt seamlessly to constantly evolving accounting processes and technology. Adept at customer service and financial reporting. Familiar with banking procedures. I'm going to take that whole thing out. That's kind of covered by her experience. Got the which I hope to leverage part. Let's see if we can manage to fit things in on one page. Might have to take some more of that out later, but let's see what we can do before that. And now we need to put in one more job here. And that bodes well. We still have enough space at the bottom. Four point font. Call this Deal Brothers. Receptionist Dispatcher. And this is also Bakersfield, and it's January Okay, now, what did she do there? Providing customers with leading edge, high quality distribution services to help keep our customers logistically competitive. Her whole team and I strive to remain on top, even in a rate of constant change that is presented within our industry. The main goal is to supply customers with accurate information and updates on drivers to ensure on time delivery. 
and higher efficient drivers, efficient drivers throughout our fleet. Okay. Let's just copy this first sentence. Move it over here. Helped to provide customer with a leading edge high quality distribution service. Eh, we don't need to keep them competitive part. Uh, but let's go back here. I like this information about accurate information of your drunk drivers. Help provide customers with leading edge, high quality distribution service. Including information and updates on drivers and click on on time delivery to save a little space and to use this format and we already are over one page ads okay we got some space so help to provide customers with leading edge high quality distribution services including accurate information and updates on drivers save now Let's see, right, he didn't actually give us any numbers on this, so let's see if we can find some numbers on our own by going to the Dale Brothers website. There it is. So. Uh, Numbers, 15 years, no. Uh, the driver, no. How about about us? Mm, don't see any numbers there either. Services. here probably aren't going to have any numbers on the contact page either hmm. got a lot of cool information on the contact page but nothing about the number of customers interesting okay that's not going to help us. So <sighs> we're going to have to leave that one without a number. I don't like it, but I need to finish the edits here. And we're probably not going to be able to get our team on the phone right away. So we'll just leave it the way it is. It's not the end of the world, but you know, everyone that's listened to this knows how much I like numbers. And I hate to leave it leave a line without a number, but uh, the rest of them have numbers, so it still looks pretty good, even if there's one line with a number next to it. Now we just need to finish the Volunteer Skills, Awards, and Languages sections, and that's a lot to fit in, in a small amount of space, so we're going to have to do that with multiple columns. This, what was the font again? Calibri. Let's make this Calibri like everything else. And we'll get four points to save space. And now, make this the same font as that. And then make the next two the same One, get rid of the extra bullet points, 
Uh, don't show this right now. And then underline the word volunteer and make it 10 point font. Now we're going to have to create multiple columns. So that's usually at the top of the screen. I unfortunately do not see that button here right now. That is unfortunate. Hmm. Layout columns. There we go. So that will give us multiple columns to work with. so they stand out a little bit more. Now, Hmm. We're actually going to leave skills out for now. It's just too much of a time commitment. And, and most of those are pretty general skills data analysis, leadership, data analysis, leadership, confidence, public speaking. Most of those are implied by the bullet points that are already describing the, the, the work that we're doing. So let's go to awards. formatting. Take that out, take that out, because those are already covered in the volunteer work. And we're going to put this stuff from her education into awards. We're going to call this awards and accomplishments. better early graduate of high school this is actually 4.0 a yep president's list 4.0 GPA recommended as psych stats tutor and English tutor for college level Graduating early from high school. Um, and we'll put that in here as well. Now. This bold and underlined. Now we're not going to bold this stuff. Oops, buttons. So we still got Calibri 10 though. And now we want to make this last bullet point Calibri 10. And we want to move that up here and make the rest of it the right font. English and put in college level students. Because it actually covers psych stats and English. And now we just need languages. So let's make that 
bold and underlined. Put in a bullet point. Yep, that's the wrong kind of bullet point, so let's just copy this. And we'll put English. Punjabi. Save. And look at that. We got everything to fit on one page. I still like the other format better. This looks really sharp, except that it's on two pages. Page one here looks really nice. So, I actually don't have the ability to do this very easily in Word right now. So, I told Rajneet to actually take all of the edits that we made for her Word version of her resume and then put it back in that. Now we can at least work with this resume. So we're going to save all of our edits and we're going to end our little recording here. That's almost 40 minutes. That took a lot longer than I expected. But sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes less. But at least all of these trainings have been um, well less than an hour. So um, that still fits with what I've, I've asked from everybody to. Everything I've been training here is doable in less than an hour, at least. Hopefully, uh, 10 minutes like uh, like Michelle's resume rather than 40 minutes like Rajneet's, but sometimes they take longer. Anyway, that's the end of this recording, and uh, hopefully that gives everybody a good uh, idea of how to edit and polish resumes for our club members to really, really make them look... The, the best possible and really put their best foot forward as the, the valuable professionals that they are. Uh, so that's it.